Hey guys, we're back here with Travis and Dax, and you guys are here to talk about uh, 4th of July and overall fireworks in within the city limits, but also uh, what's happening with uh, some of the things that you want to uh, highlight in terms of what people can and cannot do for this 4th of July season. <laughs> so what can you tell us about um, what you're trying to uh, educate people on this year? Well, from the perspective of the police department, you know, we always want people to enjoy themselves, but we want them to do it safely and legally. Uh, people need to know that fireworks in the city of Missoula are illegal by city ordinance, with few exceptions, and those exceptions can be found uh, at the city's website. Uh, most of all, we're concerned about personal injury. We're concerned about property damage. Uh, we're concerned about uh, those folks in our community that don't appreciate fireworks uh, and expect us to hold up the law. So um, one of the things is that uh, there's a couple of places that are shooting off fireworks this season within the city limits, but they got permits. So a lot of people would be like, well, if they get to do it, why can't we do it? Could you guys kind of elaborate a little bit on that? Well, I think um, part of that is they're professionals. And in a way, it's, it's kind of a, it's an, an agreement. People want to enjoy fireworks. And with the mall, um, providing them and the uh, Osprey Stadium, that's a pretty good um, medium for us, I think. Um, and people know when it's going to happen, it's planned out, and it's much safer. Yep. And uh, Travis, you are uh, you and um, people at the Missoula Police Department uh, usually hand out fines for people who to comply with uh, the city's ordinance that's been around for a while now, and they updated just a couple of years ago to help reflect a couple other things. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, uh, we will be out uh, utilizing the resources from the department to enforce the ordinance. Uh, officers will still be responsible for calls for service. Um, however, uh, the city has established a report line for people who do wish to report illegal fireworks activity, and uh, the police department will be responding to those complaints as uh, opportunities arise, and they are free to do so. Yep, and that hotline is for anybody who wants to know about uh, um, tips that you can give to the uh, police department. It's 258-4850. Uh, um, Again, that's 258-4850, and I'll repeat that later in the show as well. So. Um, what can you tell me about some of the things that's happened in, in the past and how uh, Missoula is kind of adapting to um, like changes and how you guys ha are working to help um, keep Missoula safe? Well, I think uh, that you, it's always been illegal to light off fireworks in the city and I think um, you can do it in the county. Um, but one of the things is that being in the city, um, everybody lives so close to each other, the homes are close to each other, and it's just kind of a respectful thing to not um, be causing concern for your, to neighbors who right. don't want the fireworks. And um, one of the things that you were talking about is that there is a potential risk for um, arson, and if you accidentally like light off the firework and wind catches at a certain speed and it lands in your neighbor's uh, tree or something and it catches fire and then the house catches on fire and yeah that whole that wouldn't thing. be that wouldn't be arson it would be accidental but even being accidental you're, you're still responsible for your actions um, it's assumed that uh, that an adult should know what they're doing and adults are um, responsible for what their children do too right and uh, you're also saying that there are some um, issues with people lighting off fireworks in the Fort Missoula because that used to be kind of like the place where a lot of people would light off fireworks. Yeah, with this new parks um, facility out there, it, it's the cities now. So it's technically you, you can't light off fireworks out there at the fort. Cool. Well, is there uh, anything else you kind of like want to talk about? I think uh, we didn't actually talk about the fines and what people can get if they do not comply. Oh, cool. uh, a first offense is a fine, uh, includes a fine of up to $100, and then it progresses from there. You know, a big component of what we're doing every year now is, is education and trying to make people aware of the potential dangers, the risks that Dax referred to, and uh, letting people know that there are consequences. But as I said earlier, we want people to have a fun Fourth of July. We want them to enjoy themselves, enjoy their families. We just want them to do it safely and respectfully. Yep, and, and speaking of safety, uh, you were also talking about sparklers. Could it be a potential risk for younger kids? 
Anything, to, and Dax can talk about this better than I, but anything that uh, relates to fire is potentially dangerous. Um, however, there are exceptions to the ordinance, and as I said, those exceptions can be found on the city's website. Yeah, yeah, 28% tw of uh, fire injuries are caused by sparklers themselves, and it's probably, a lot of it, like I told you earlier, was, is probably due to the age of who's using them. Um, but yeah, they, they can be, a big problem if so they should be used with adult supervision uh, one of the things I'd like to mention is that uh, the big show on the 4th of July this year is going to be uh, at the county fairgrounds so some of the best viewing areas will be uh, the field areas around um, the Mount Sentinel fields and the Sentinel High School and stuff so it'll be a little different this year yep. but yeah, so um, is there anything else you guys want to say? It's, it's pretty clear that the city of Missoula has like uh, just like no fireworks, um, but if you're also in the county, just be a little careful because when you're in the county, there's a lot of grass and a lot of grasslands and stuff like that because you don't never, you're never entirely safe when you're lighting off fireworks because there's the fire component. That's very true. All right, so is there anything else you guys want to say before we go? Be safe. Yeah, be safe. All right. Thanks. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, thank you for joining us. Um, um, once again, the number is 250-2000.